And then I'm actually going to do this so that he can't kite with a giant, and we're going to hope to win. Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to be playing P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam and I recently actually made a P.E.K.K.A. video but I wanted to make another one because as you can see Fat Cat here has pushed a number 9 global and he is using Baby Dragon instead of Minions and so I figured I'd just make a video talking about this because Minions are still pretty good in P.E.K.K.A. Uh, my last video said Minions were the best in P.E.K.K.A. and Fat Cat actually agreed with me for the first like week of season but then we he kind of figured out that um basically Baby Dragon's really good in the meta, and arrows are really meta, which makes minions kind of hard to use. But also, um, Baby Dragon's really good versus like Goblin Hut spam, and since there's a lot of spam, good versus like the Skeleton Barrel decks, it just works out pretty well in this meta. But I would say if arrows weren't popular, or if you don't face arrows a lot, um, you can definitely use minions, but just because of how popular they are, the Baby Dragon's going to work out better in most matchups. Um, you're just going to struggle versus matchups like Balloon is going to be pretty hard to beat, and Graveyard is actually probably a little bit harder with minions, because with minions you can just pack it in the back pretty freely and use poison pretty f freely, but uh, yeah, in this meta, if you have a, a high level baby dragon, go ahead and put the baby dragon in your deck. But as for this video, we're just going to be pushing some top 200 ladders, so let's go. Okay, so first play here, ooh, just play bandit on defense. Probably gonna baby dragon, I guess. Play it in the corner. Really, I can't think of any reason that I would play the baby dragon in the middle. I don't have a building, um, so I just don't need to. So we're gonna battle around the opposite lane to like split up his push. Okay, so I guess I'll e whiz instead of zap because e whiz will also kill that. Um, we're gonna hope he doesn't activate the King Tower. I don't think he will, though, because it kind of has low health. Yep, perfect time to go peck on the back. He doesn't have, like, an Ice Golem to kite. He doesn't have good offense. We can literally just really ghost anything he does. So we're gonna Bandit to go ahead and kill that, because he still has to respond to this Bandit, and all he's gonna do is he got Goblins. And I'm thinking... Oh, he decided to let that die. So... We'll just go ahead and attack. Why not? Also to avoid the King Tower activation. Um... Let's see. Decent amount of damage. So I can just peck on the back again safely. And... We need to Electro Wizard that. I think King Tower Activation is actually going to work this time. Yeah, it does. That's actually a pretty good play by him. Honestly, I'm just going to Bandit. So let's respond to the Bandit. Hopefully we don't lose now. So we're gonna go in this lane. This should kill his bond tower, which is really all we need out of that. And then hopefully we get some damage here. It's just gonna tornado, so everything's gonna die. Um, I guess we're looking okay. I think I need to baby dragon just to avoid damage on the tower. So he hasn't shown us his big spell yet, I don't think. Just gonna really go to the opposite lane actually. And then we're going to peck on defense here. And... I feel like if he had rocket, he would rocket. Because it would be a good play to rocket, right? So I'll just play a high Electro Wizard. Um, Bandit will defend this lane. Also, if he wall breaks over here, which he probably will. And he does. What a shocker. Not predictable at all. <laughs> oh, there's the rocket. 
I'm kind of surprised he didn't use that earlier, actually. Um, we're going to Electro Wizard this, because if we P.E.K.K.A., we might not have enough Elixir for everything else. And he completely failed. He meant to play a... I forget what you even call it. He meant to play the Wall Breakers. So we had the Roller Ghost ready, so we can use this to defend a few Wall Breakers. And that's a really solid defense. So... He kind of fails the rocket. Nice. Throw e ways behind this. And then we'll Valkyrie over here. That way, if he plays... I mean, sorry, we'll be over here. That way it's going to be hard for him to defend, yeah. If he plays the Valkyrie on what he played on. Play a Bandit also. I, the Zap kind of did nothing, but like, I needed to cycle and there was nothing else to play. So we're going to go Peck over here again. This way he can't rock it. And he's going all in because he kind of has to at this point. So hopefully we can defend this. Looks like we are going to be able to. So we're going to now just spam everything. Not even going to battle run because it's not really going to do that much. I think we win. Wow, we barely slipped away with the win. But it was a pretty good game, so GG, my friend. Okay. I wasn't looking at the start of the game, and he got a bunch of damage on my toe. Nice. Go ahead and zap that, because we get a charge. So, versus 2.9. This is... I don't know if having Baby Dragon helps us at all in this matchup. Okay, I'm going to roll a ghost. Doesn't have a good cycle to defend that. Oh, wait. He has... Oh. Now, why did I think that was 2.6? So, he's not 2.6. Probably he has musk... No, he has firecracker. I think I go here? Oh, wait. That kills it and maybe activates King Tower. <laughs> no! No! That is really annoying. But we still got two hits on the tower, so to be honest, it's worth it. He was low because if he would have gone mini Pekka there, it would have been a really good play by him. And if I would have gone E was high, I would have lost. I don't think we need to defend this anymore. Yep. So you know what, man? This may be the biggest mistake of my life. But... Hey. Sometimes... You just gotta play it aggressive. Oh, he completely failed that nice. I'm just going to poison to make sure I actually kill that. Get a hit on the tower. Nice, it does. Perfect. Having E was ready, so we can't really attack. He says, Gur. I say, hooray. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do here. Nah, it's not going to work. Dang it. I was going to try to do the play where he can't um, kite it with the battle ram, but kind of failed. But we're gonna take a sour anyway. So we have our, so yeah, we win. GG. And let me tell you guys, that is not an easy matchup. Like, I've lost that matchup more than once. Yesterday I lost it more than once, so I'm happy to win that. Here we go. Wow, I do not have a good turn hand. So we're just gonna poison that. <laughs> Look how close I just activated the King Tower. I was kind of afraid for a second it was going to. Okay. I see you. They'll just peck the same lane. 
And if he tries to do the minor trick or something, we have Ewis, so we should be good. So I'm just going to play Electro Wizard here to slow everything down. Notice how I made sure to line it up so that it doesn't go in front. And then we're going to go Bandit Battle Ram on this side. And also Zap, just so that we guarantee to pretty much take his tower. Wow. That, my friends, is why you don't go giant in the back first play. Even the best players, they never giant in the back first play. They always, like, if they have giant double prince, they go with prince in the back or dark prince in the back. They never giant. So this should actually be worth it, believe it or not. Because I don't think he has, like, skeletons or something. And it two shots that. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. And if we slow it down enough to where the P.E.K.K.A. can get one hit, which I think it should, we're good. Dude, I don't understand that interaction at all. It makes no sense. I'm just going to go Ghost here. That way we at least kill the mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, he's not even going to mini P.E.K.K.A. It's kind of surprising. I guess I'll just zap to cycle. Didn't have anything else to play. Now I'll just Bay Drag in the back. And. E Wiz? I don't know. With the poison, that should all die. And then we're also gonna go there. I think I zapped him, sure everything dies, then he has some musketeer, which is a waste, so he doesn't. Yep. There we go. GG. Um, it's important I'm allowed I'm allowed to t attack with um the the bandit plus battle ram combination, and it's gonna work like most of the time. Um uh, it's like like versus a dark prince or even a prince. You just have to make sure to delay the bandit so that it gets a charge on, like, the whatever troop that they drop to defend. So we're gonna just go with the bandit on the back here. And... okay. This is gonna be a good time to roll ghost in the opposite lane, because I think he has the skeleton barrel deck. Yep, and it forces him into an awkward cycle. Um, I need to save Electro Wizard, so we're just gonna peck at this. And then we're just gonna zap. Don't really want to Electro Wizard because Electro Wizard is not going to do that much for us on offense here. Okay, we're playing Baby Dragon. Because it's hard for him to defend, right? He has to, like, spend something to defend it. Um, now we just wait. Can't really attack. Well, no, I think we bandit the bridge. And, uh, yeah, he d didn't have a good answer, so he has a skeleton barrel. Uh, I wish I had Zap and Cycle so much. But instead, we're just going to do that. And then, uh, attempting to battle him, but also not really worth it, because he just bomb towers and gets a positive electric trade. Okay, so... I don't really have the best defensive hand, but I think I can just Baby Dragon whenever he drops. And I actually... Play a battle ram like that and bandit on defense here. And maybe I should just let my push die, but I probably would have had to zap those bats eventually, so I might as well just zap it. Okay, we get charged on the tower, that's pretty nice. I don't actually think he's gonna attack with that knight, so we're just gonna ignore it. Pekka in the center.
We're gonna attack without the battle ram because um battle ram's not really gonna help us all that much here. Um just go with a peck on the back again. On the tower that he has most damage on. And Okay, I was gonna battle ram in the back until he did that. Instead, we're just gonna go battle ram over here. I think these baby dragons are gonna get really awkward for him to defend, so we're just gonna spam another baby dragon. And poison? Trying to kill any bats, and also that. Okay, so we're actually not even winning by all that much. <laughs> wow, it's kind of hoping for better. Okay, we're just gonna peck on the back again. Defend this with a lecture wizard. That does not fully kill that, so I'm going in with the battle ram. I'm gonna spam the other lane since. Okay. Play P.E.K.K.A. again. This is gonna be have to be our last P.E.K.K.A. of the game. I think I go there trying to get a hit. Gonna keep spamming. Gotta get damage on one of these sides. I think it's low key gonna be the left side. She's gonna be defending the right side so hard. Spend or put in another baby dragon. And actually, there were two poisons away. Or we just win that way. There we go. GG. So versus Chris here. Probably just gonna. Oh yeah. By the way. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna bend at the bridge since he's doing that. Um... I almost failed that. Carpy told me it's okay to play Battle Ram at the bridge first play if, like, you don't have a good starting hand. Because you kind of just hope that, like, they have a bad starting hand. So, very... Oh! Wait. Oh my gosh. I'm actually just going to do this. Okay. <laughs> He's the guy using the knight. For some unknown reason. I'm just going to wait. Wow, mini P.E.K.K.A is broken. <laughs> like, it's actually broken. It needs... a small nerf. Very small nerf. Either that or P.E.K.K.A needs a buff. Uh, he has Sparky, so I'll just baby drag in the back. See what happens here. I'll just go with the Royal Ghost. See if he just sparky says. Dang it. I can play nothing. Literally, there's nothing I can do. Wait, what? I don't even know what I do if he if I sparky in the back. Okay, I'm just gonna zap. And I guess we're just going to attack here. 
and then I'm actually going to defend without the P.E.K.K.A. because the Sparky's going to shred my P.E.K.K.A. on the counter push. And at least Sparky doesn't do quite as well versus these guys. So we're going to go there first. And I might even defend this without the... No, what I'm going to do is P.E.K.K.A. on top. Um... Kidding me? So we're gonna spam a little bit over here. And after this gets a hit, I'm gonna E Wiz to make sure it actually dies. And then get down some nice. What? How did the Pekka not hit? Dang it. I guess we just defensive real ghost here. And we bandit the lane to pressure. And then I'm actually gonna do this so that he can't kite with a giant and we're gonna hope to win. I think that might have won us the game. Hopefully. Okay, good, because I failed my roll ghost. Wow. We're giving him the thanks, because that was a stupid deck, bro. Oh my gosh. The stupidest thing just happened. I was facing Macarius, right? And like, I was destroying him. I had like half his tower down. And then my iPad just completely stopped working. Like, I couldn't click anything on the screen. And it didn't even show the Wi-Fi symbol. So I lost. Kind of sucked. I'm just gonna attack. Maybe it's aggressive? Okay, I actually thought he had expo. So he is giant. Just gonna baby dragon, I guess. Problem is, baby dragon gets no value. So we had to also e whiz since he did that. And now we're winning, but uh Yikes. He's just gonna he's gonna outcycle me. Um what can I do? I can't attack because he's just gonna Actually I definitely attack here. Because he doesn't have So we have to try to punish him for going so aggressive. Fortunately, we have to sacrifice some tower damage. But we should have a good counter push as long as that. Of course, the panic goes in front. Nice. So we're gonna split lane pressure here. That way he can't defend both. Hopefully. And I'm gonna go with the zap to get. Wow. He says well played, but. Kind of stinks. I have to just baby dragon over here, I think, and I think I just attack. Okay, well, we'll just defend. No! That is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Um, so we go dueling pressure. I tried to prediction zap, didn't really work out. Wow, okay, I think I actually would have lost my tower if I didn't play that Royal Ghost. Uh, 
Um. Wait, do we win? Oh my gosh, we won. Thank God. That was actually like super scary after I just lost that Mercurius game. If I had lost that, I probably would have just gone full tilt. Man. Okay, I think one more game. Crap. A versus Expo. This is not good. And I think that this guy's actually Ice Bow, which means I can't... Oh, no, he's not. So I'm going to ban it the Grish first play. Try to see if he doesn't have Ice Woman Cycle, because if he doesn't... Oh, wait, what? First of all, one, why did he not just activate his King Tower? Two, why in the world... I shouldn't have even zapped, should have just waited. Why in the world does he have Ice Spirit and an Expo deck? Like, what? So we're... Have our zap ready. And wow, if I beat this, I'm going to be very happy, <laughs> to say the least. So, he probably doesn't have a Tesla, right? Like, there's no way. He doesn't have enough... There's not, like, enough... He'd have to have nine cards if he had a Tesla, right? I think. You know what? I'm just gonna spam, because I think I take his tower, and if I take his tower, I win. And I'm playing EU as also, he doesn't have that much elixir. Okay. <laughs> Expo is a super hard counter. If they have Tesla, I think I can actually... Well, you're gonna see, I did win that. I don't think I would've won that if he has Tesla. But, uh... Yeah, I win. GG, brother. And you know what, guys? That is where we're going to end the video. I got back to my personal best after completely tilting yesterday, like hardcore. And make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more quality gameplay. And Vulcan, out.